Behind the Brand takes an inside look at the people in Orange County that are making things happen. From up and coming entrepreneurs to the Fortune 500s, we show you how they go about their business. Get behind the brand and meet the innovators with the know-how and vision to succeed in today's Orange County. Uh, hi, everyone. We're here with Seth Godin. Hi, Brian. We're really glad that you made it out. Seth is the author of a uh, new book, Lynchpin, and we wanted to talk to you about that and kind of get your thoughts. But uh, I guess the most pressing thing on my mind first is about the socks. <laughs> about the socks. So what's the story uh, with the socks? I don't know if our friends with the cameras can see the socks. So the socks are for 12-year-old girls. They're made by a company called Little Mismatch. They come in 133 styles. You get three to a container, none of them match. And the entire marketing strategy of the company is that 12-year-old girls with a fashion problem, that's not all 12-year-old girls, just some members of the tribe who care about fashion, uh, don't have enough to talk about during recess. And if for 10 bucks they can have socks that don't match, that are colorful, they can go during recess and say to their friends the magic sentence, want to see my socks. Sure. So when you say, want to see my socks, the other kid goes home and says to her mom, I need new socks. And so the idea spreads. It's a purple cow. It's remarkable. It spreads to a tribe, not to everyone. Yeah. And so I wear them every day as a reminder that you can build a $40 million sock company on the basis of one sentence. Uh, I wear them because it's a reminder that doing what everyone has done for years isn't necessarily the right answer. And it solves my personal problem, which is I constantly lose the companion sock. So you don't have to worry about finding its... Perfect That's right. Match. And sometimes I accidentally put on a pair. I have so many, a pair that match. Yeah. And I have to start over and mismatch them on purpose. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's excellent. Um, there's a lot of things I want to ask you. Um, thank you so much for an advanced copy of the book. Uh, I've read it now going on 1.5 times. Uh, it's a very different book than you've written before, right? It's very different from some of the others, you know, tribes and the dip and permission marketing even. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, this time it's personal, and it's not personal about me. It's personal about you. That what I'm trying to say, and the dip is a little bit of this, but most of my books have been strategic, conceptual, tactical. They're about how an organization interacts with the marketplace, how an organization interacts with a story or an idea. And what I heard from so many people who are in a lot of pain is that the strategies weren't working, and the reason was that the underlying bargain of our economy is busted. And so I had to take it down to the personal level and say, how does an individual navigate in a world where the Industrial Revolution is not only over, it's dead? That's interesting. So it, I was thinking, when did, you, when did you begin writing the book? You finished Tribes, what, two years ago? Yeah, I started writing the book 10 or 12 years ago. Okay. Um, it, the books have to come out in order, but they don't have to get written in order. Yeah, right? I mean, because it's, I think, a really timely message. And I was just wondering, you know, what is the process? And if, you know, if you're, if you're uh, I guess.